Thanks, Kim. Now, our other top story at 530, groundbreaking. It's going to pave the way for a massive new research and medical facility right in the shadows of Henry Ford Hospital. Yeah, this is pretty cool. When it's done right here, it is going to, uh, we're going to take a look at what it's going to look like. 335,000 square feet operated jointly by Henry Ford Health and Michigan State University. Will Jones shows us why this project is really so important. The Henry Ford and Michigan State Health Sciences Research Center is being described as a, a beacon of hope, a, a world-class research center. Beyond this fence is where this activity is taking place. You can see the heavy equipment in action right now. But this partnership and this building are game changers. Henry Ford Health and Michigan State University joining forces to build a 335,000 square foot, seven story world class research center in Detroit's new center neighborhood that can support 80 research teams tackling global health conditions. One of those teams will be the Nick Gilbert Neurofibromatosis Research Institute, the first brick and mortar space dedicated to neurofibromatosis research. Dan and Jennifer Gilbert's son, Nick, battled the disease. He died last year at the age of 26. Neurofibromatosis is a genetic disease that causes tumors to grow nerve pathways anywhere in the body. We are giving our dream team a home to centralize their efforts and help accelerate a cure for NF. Nick believed in Detroit's future, which is another way this research institute will carry on his legacy. Mayor Duggan echoing the impact the research center could have on Detroit and the region. Is Henry Ford and Michigan State are going to make sure that the people of Detroit and southeastern Michigan get access to the latest breakthroughs as fast as they come available. That's real equity in health care. The research center will be Michigan State University's largest research facility. It opens in 2027, so we look forward to that. We are live. Will Jones, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Will. Appreciate it.